man. They go over to Coswin. Tries to beat Grassi. Back in the middle of the field for a shot and a score for the freshman Bot. That's his seventh of the season on a beautiful feed there from Coswin. And Isaac Bot has a three goal deficit now for the River Hawks to the end of the half. They're also going to, I'm sure, look for their first good opportunity to get. Lowell's kept tight in this game. If the Bearcats see a shot opening, they'll probably take it. And that's exactly what happens there is Joe Licata gets a nice feed from Tom Moore and converts for a 7-3 lead now for Binghamton. What a look from Moore and a nice shot by Licata. His fifth goal of the season is 7-3. Back over for Cosby now. Ball dropped and on the ground for a moment as Turrell had some trouble with it. Still loose. Turrell able to pick it back up. And a quick goal for the Riverhawks there. It's Ryan Morrison. And Sean Turrell had lost that one, was able to pick it back up, swung it around quickly. And then the pass came right over to Morrison in his wheelhouse. The Riverhawks are within three. It's 7-4. Long shot and a goal for Liam Lewis. Luka from the point position once again for Licata now. He gets past one defender. And a pass right inside. Nice hookup from McAndrew to Moore. Those two are main catalysts for this team. And right there, the execution was on point. And it's a 9-4 lead for the Binghamton Bearcats. Lane starts towards the net again. Back to Morrison. They come back up top now for Coswin. Coswin passes the defender and he shoots and bounces it home. So a goal there for Keenan Coswin. And at the 518 mark of the third quarter, UMass Lowell back within four. It's nine to five. He goes back to Pino once again. Senior starts towards the net, has it popped away from him. He's able to get it right back. And right in front of the net, he finds Isaac Bott cutting, and Bott's able to convert it for his second of the day on a beautiful feed there from Nicholas Pino. So it's a 9-6 game now with 2.07 to play. The River Hawks pull within three. Interesting pass decision by Kasner. He had it right picked off, so now an opposite end chance, and there's a goal for Moore. It's another Penalty flag flies, we'll see what that is. It looked like Moore will get the benefit of that call as well as he took a tumble at the end there, so. Moore there. And there's a shot and a score for Licata. The stick of Corey Highfield was lost there for a moment, which allowed Moore to move towards that net a little bit easier. Found Licata across the way for Licata's second goal of the day. It's 12 to 7. Andrew now coming out from behind the net. Setting a pick for Moore, and he's able to convert it. Nice pick there by Riame. And Tom Moore comes around the outside and scores his fifth goal of the day. Beautiful feed there from Conan inside for DeLuca. And it's another one for Binghamton. So DeLuca has his second of the day. And it's another assist for Conan. So it's a 14 to seven game now. Binghamton has doubled up the Riverhawks. Wide open in front of the net for another chance is Griffin Conan there. The pass from behind and Conan with his first goal of the day for the Bearcats. is seventh of the season and it's 15 to seven. Bearcats really opening this one up in the late minutes. 
sure they'd be content just to add one more at the last score of the game. And there's one right there for Isaac Bott in front. Freshman has himself a hat trick, and it's a seven-point game once again. But it's a 15-8 final. UMass Lowell unable to pick up the win here today, but at times they were able to hang around, and they did show some good offensive showing at, at some points during this game.